Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's dive right in. So interesting, interestingly enough, Cancer, when I first started sitting here channeling, connecting to your energy, I was seeing the chariot for you guys, which makes perfect sense. It's not out of the ordinary as the chariot represents Cancerian energy. But I was also getting this energy of like being well on your way to a new adventure, to a new beginning. And that's when your pre-shuffle energies came out, all right? So I'll explain it to you this way. It started like this. The star was at the top of the stack here with the nine of wands and the ten of swords underneath that. And then moving forward underneath that was the six of wands, the three of wands, the high priestess. And finally, the two of wands came out. But these six cards here, they all came out together. Like they literally flipped over all at once. And I saw that. And then I went to continue shuffling and one more card came out and it was the two of wands. The two of wands had come out on top of everything else, which to me is speaking to the fact that there was a decision you had to make. There was a choice of direction between which which way you were going to go and you, you you chose the direction that's best going to serve you. We have the star with the nine of wands and the ten of swords. So ultimately here, I mean, there, uh, collectively all over, there is a lot of um, releasing, ending energy here, lots of tight, toxic cycles ending, and this could very well be in a relationship dynamic, whether it's you were in a relationship already or just the way you approach a relationship um, is going to change. But ultimately, with the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and the Star here, there is something that has been leading you okay, in a certain direction, and there's healing that has that is coming from this, the, the star, um, but perseverance is key here because ultimately you are moving towards what it is you truly want, and it's a long and arduous and probably really painful journey, okay, but don't stop because ultimately what you're going through, what you've been going through is helping you close out some old cycles, and now you're rising above it. You have victory here, okay, six of wands to the three of wands. You are, in fact, on the right path to the high priestess. You don't quite know exactly which which direction you're moving in or where what it is you're manifesting, but ultimately it is going to be better than whatever it is you're leaving behind here with the Ten of Swords, okay? I do feel like, Cancer, you have made, in fact, made the right decision for yourself. King of Pentacles is your overall energy, and I, re I really feel like this is you. Cancer, whether you are a man or a woman, it doesn't really matter. What what this is more focusing on is the fact that you are much more well manifested and grounded and much more aware of yourself than you have been in the past. And that is the energy that's allowed you to make this decision in terms of what direction to move in. And to really, I know this seems counterproductive or counterintuitive, but something about this, what, whatever grounded and balanced state you have realized or you've come into, Cancer, it's actually helping you to deal with the uncertainty that the high priestess is bringing forward towards you or that the, the universe, the higher perspective is bringing towards you. And that's because you are more grounded and stable and secure in yourself. That is so counter counterintuitive because normally the king of pentacles would represent Taurus energy, which is a fixed energy. And let me tell you, as a Taurus myself, we do not like change. We do not like uncertainty. We do not like things being up in the air. <laughs> Okay, we want things to be down on the ground, secure, stable, <laughs> right? But that's the thing. You are yourself, in and of yourself, you are way more stable, grounded, and secure than you have ever been. And it's from the lessons, it, it, you cultivate this through the lessons you learned and the experiences you went through in the past. Yes, that Ten of Swords energy. All right, Cancer? So this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Okay, let's move forward here. Give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for the rest of your reading. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, five shuffles. Hey, Cancer, I really feel like you're moving into a 
stage or into a period where you're going to be really feeling really abundant, really excited, really exuberant, free flowing, fun loving, happy go lucky, like nothing can really get you down. Or at least they're going to have to try real hard to do it. That's what I feel like you are right now, Cancer. And that's a beautiful thing. Hey, more power to you, honey. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? All right. Last shuffle for you, Cancer. And then we will see what we've got for you. All right, Cancer. Overall energy. We're starting you off with the Five of Wands. That is so interesting because... Gemini. Gemini had the same card as their as their overall energy. And it's funny because I almost I accidentally called you Gemini in the in your pre-shuffle, but chaos. The chaos of creation. I also feel like this is the energies of people um around you, differing of opinion. Some people are wanting you to go a certain way and you're not having it. You're like, nah, I'm good. I'm going this way. But I also feel like this is ultimately and overall, this is the energy of creation, or I'm sorry, the, the chaos of creative energies, universal creative, creative energies around you while you move forward in some way, because I'm still seeing that chariot energy for you. You have underneath that, you have the two of pentacles. Underneath the two of pentacles is in fact the five of cups. And then you have the knight of pentacles underneath that. Okay, yeah. So this makes a lot of sense because what I, as soon as the two of pentacles came out, Cancer, I was feeling like you need to maintain some sense of balance here. Balance and grounding and overall leveled energy here because this kind of, I'm not going to lie, this kind of feels like an upheaval, Cancer. It may not necessarily be something that you aren't all that happy about, but also you don't have to be in dire straits about it. Some of you are kind of in this five of cups, remorseful, regretful, um, maybe even ashamed type energy. Others of you, this energy was the past. This was like the ruling element of your past. And you are, but the, the overall, no matter where you stand in terms of how you're feeling in the current moment towards whatever is changing for you, ultimately, I feel like you are. You are strongly rooted in the understanding that whatever needs to change is going to change and has to change, and you are about to see it through. And I'm getting that from the Knight of Pentacles energy. There's this understanding or, or, or awareness, a conscious awareness that something needs to change here, and no, it's not going to happen overnight. You're ready to do it. I feel like you're, you're done. You've, you've gone through the past circumstances enough where it's just like, you know what? I'm Fuck this. I'm tired of feeling like this. I am tired of feeling like this. And I might still feel like this right now, five of cups, but ultimately I'm gonna do what I can to pull myself out of it. You what? Trust, trust and believe. Watch me. That's that's the, the strong sense of determination, Cancer. And I guess that's kind of where the chariot energy was coming in too. We haven't gotten the chariot yet. It mo maybe we'll see if it comes out in the rest of the reading here for you, but um, and that's what I was seeing firsthand before I even pulled any cards. When I was connecting to your energy, I was seeing the chariot, which again is representative of your energy in the Zodiac. But it was more than that. There's a determination here that is unwavering. And I really, really, I, I, I think that's great for you. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Let's get into the first half of your reading here, Cancer. First set of surrounding energies. The Four of Wands. Okay, Cancer. You could be uh, you could be moving homes, um, changing your physical surroundings. That's mm, that's not too strong of an energy. That might be for like uh, one or two of you out there. But what I am getting with the Four of Wands is you have a strong spiritual solid foundation within yourself. You're I just feel this Four of Wands is saying, okay, I'm ready to move forward now. I'm ready to pull myself out of this now. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands is coupled with, and, and, and I'll say this before I go any further, the Four of Wands is also representing you sufficiently having gained an understanding of the, the, what you needed to understand in order to finally say, okay, I'm done with this. Let's move on. Let's get, let's, okay, let's do what I need to do, get myself out of this, and we can move on to the next phase. Beautiful. Four of Wands is coupled with. The Wheel of Fortune. Excellent. So now that, I just feel like 
you are consciously putting something to rest. You are consciously saying enough is enough. Let's spin this roulette wheel and see what's new. See what we can get new now. Because I'm ready for a change. Ready for a change is what I'm hearing for you, Cancer. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading you have. The six of wands again. There you go. Overcoming. Overcoming. Yes, yes, yes. Rising above. The butterfly that is rising out of the brambles of the past, out of the conflict, the, communi the, the confusion, the, the being held back and held down of the past. No more. You are that butterfly, Cancer. You have transformed. Look at this. You've got two butterflies here. Two of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. The butterfly of the Two of Pentacles is, is speaking to your own sense of practicality and needing to find balance, harmony, and all. And inclusion is what I heard, too. Maybe that could have been conclusion. Okay. Excellent, Cancer. The Six of Wands is coupled with... The queen of wands. Yes, indeed. Whether you're a man or a woman, this does not matter. Because ultimately, I see the queen of wands as, or in this deck, the mother of wands, as the physical embodiment of the law of attraction. So what this is saying to me here, 1111, for you guys, Cancer, is that you are rising above the past circumstances. You have a sufficient foundation. You are ready to move forward. You are ready to change your destiny. You're ready to change your karma. With this queen of wands here, as you're rising above and becoming, you're finding victory here, you are getting into alignment. Staying in alignment with that which it is you truly desire. Making sure that your life is balanced surrounding that so that you can continue to move closer and closer towards what it is you want. Okay? I like that a lot, Cancer. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. The tower. All right. So you guys are currently going in the midst of, is what I'm hearing spirit saying, you are currently in the midst of a tower moment. Whether you want to look at it as your own doing or just the circumstances are just crumbling naturally, it doesn't really matter. Ultimately, right now, you have got this, you have got to surf the waves of a tower moment. And that is why there is so much focus here for you in maintaining balance throughout the conflict. Now, the five of wands, I did even say this was this could potentially be the conflict of um, or the, the, the chaos of creative energies. Well, you're being challenged with a tower moment right now. The tower is destructive, yes, but it's also creative. Why? Because it, re it destroys, it removes things from the space that could be occupied from something that is much better suited. So it's just as creative as it is destructive. Yeah. All right, Cancer. Sorry about that. Let me. I am still in Brooklyn. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's going to change soon. All right. The tower is coupled with. There you go. There's that Knight of Cups. Now, actually, hold on a second. Don't. I'm thinking of a different. I think it was the Gemini reading where the Knight of Cups came out. It's really crazy. I've only done three of the readings so far. I, I apologize for whatever is going on on the street out there. Um, but I did, I've did. i done Taurus, Can Gemini, and now I'm doing Cancer. And there have been some pretty significant themes that have been uh, showing up consistently throughout those three. One of them being the Tower, the other one being the Hey, the Knight of Cups energy and the Queen of Wands. But the tower here is making space for what your heart truly desires. I would recommend maybe you watch the Gemini reading. I feel like maybe there could be some of you out there that are resonating with this reading that have Gemini in a major placement that would resonate with that one as well. Because the message in Gemini's reading was there was a, a level of um, a being green a little, um, maybe being a little naive. Um, I don't feel immature in the destructive immature sense. I just feel like in a, a lack of experience in, in whatever it is you're moving towards. Um, bright eyed and bushy tailed type energy. It's not a bad thing though. Because ultimately, this, you're moving to a new level or you're moving into a new element or a new circumstance or a new energy, and you're approaching it from a fresh-faced point of view. 
you haven't really had the chance to go through this a little bit and get jaded by it. You know what I mean? So this is something brand new that is emerging for you. But ultimately, whatever the tower is clearing away for you right now is in service of manifesting something that is much more in alignment with your heart than your mind, maybe. Ooh, that's for someone specific. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have the nine of pentacles. This is another, this has been another reoccurring theme over and over again. The nine of pentacles is a, is a card of independence, striking out on your own. Again, with this four of wands and the wheel of fortune, I really feel like Cancer, you are in a space where it's like, okay, no, I can move on now. I'm solid. I'm good. I can take this leap of faith. I have enough of a foundation within myself where I can now move on to something bigger or better, tackle a big, a, 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 a larger responsibility, if you will. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with. Oof, the Knight of Swords now, Cancer. Wow, have you been holding back a long time? Because this has a really aggressive energy, Cancer. It could very well be you're ready to like cut down anyone that tries to stand in your way. Okay, I wouldn't necessarily say go looking for a, a reason to cut someone down, but I mean, if you have a Cancerian in your life right now that's resonating with this, you might want to tread lightly around them. Taurus got the same energy too, um, and I've all I me being a Taurus, I've always all of my all the people in my life that were my I consider my best friends or a best friend to me have been cancers. And so I find it interesting that this is coming out because for you, Cancer, too, because I do see as Taurus and Cancer as very compatible. But Taurus even got this message of something has been holding them back for a very, very long time, and now they're not... Is it Taurus? Oh, no, actually, I think it was Gemini. Anyway, there's an energy of being held, having been held back for a long time, but no longer allowing yourself to be held back any longer, like aggressively pursuing what it is that you want. Like, no more time for chatting. No more time for discussion. I'm doing this now. I'm doing this now. So you might as well just get out of my way. <laughs> All right, Cancer. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. We have the eight, ooh, oh, the seven of cups, the seven of cups. All right, interesting. There's a little bit of confusion surrounding you, which actually makes sense because you do have this wheel of fortune energy here where things are up in the air, things are changing. You're playing roulette with the universe right now. All right, so there's a little bit of confusion, but I feel like this Knight of Swords energy could actually really help you to keep from getting lost in the confusion here, getting lost in the sauce a little, yeah. <laughs> Seven of Cups is coupled with... Okay, yeah, the world. Beautiful. Right, so that's what this is. So there's a little bit of confusion. There's a little bit of uncertainty. Uncertainty. Things are a little bit up in the air right now, but that's okay. You have a major ending that's happening for you. Major cycles are closing out for you right now. So allow yourself this time and space to acclimate and heal should you need to, right? Cool. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Cancer, in the second half of your reading here. Oh, hold on a second. Okay. Uh, second half of your reading here, you got... Okay. The Six of Swords. <laughs> yeah. Moving forward. I like that, Cancer. There is a level of remorse or um, sorrow here with the Six of Swords, but ultimately I feel like, Cancer, you're moving away from something that was just really destructive. Not worth your time, not worth your while. Six of Swords is coupled with... Oof! Damn! The Devil! Well, shit, that's right! Now, the, see, this. here's the thing. I've, I'm feeling regret, remorse, shame. I'm feeling Five of Cups energy here with the Six of Swords. And this is why. Because with the devil here, you are releasing toxicity. You're releasing codependency. You're releasing attachments. Attachments is the strongest thing that I'm feeling here. Something that you've been attached to for a very, 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 very long time. Something that was ultimately a comfort zone element for you. Something that was a an element that was adding to your complacency even in some circumstances. And that's why you don't necessarily want to give this up or that's why it's kind of mm, a little bittersweet. That's the energy that I'm feeling from the Six of Swords. It's like I'm cutting my losses here. I know I'm moving forward towards something that's 
better, but damn, does this suck? Or damn, does this hurt? Or damn, am I going to miss that or them? Right? Okay. This is a good thing, though, Cancer. It's a very good thing. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here. Oh, the Ten of Cups, though. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving, boo. Because this is what you're moving towards. And I guess the challenge here is getting really clear and focusing on what it is you want and not allowing yourself to slip into remembering the past. Don't worry about that. Remember the lessons. Take the lessons that you learned with you, but look forward. The, the, the challenge for you, Cancer, here is looking forward and staying optimistic, focusing only on what it is you want out of love or out of life or out of emotional uh, 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 fulfillment. Okay. Ten of Cups is coupled with the Seven of Wands. There you go, Cancer. Don't focus on anything less than what is represented by the Ten of Cups for you. Don't waste your time on focusing on anything else. It's not going to serve you. Okay? Keep your focus here. Oh, here. Ten of Cups. All right? Cool. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Cancer. Hey, now. There's judgment, all right? This is a higher calling. You're, you're elevating, your, your vibration is rising. And, as be, and because of that, then that means that there are certain elements, i.e. toxic elements here with the devil that are no longer gonna resonate with you. And that's why these things are falling away. You have to stay optimistic. You have to keep an open mind here because ultimately this is going to serve your highest good. And quite frankly, the highest good of others, to be honest, all right? Judgment is coupled with the two of wands, oops, the two of wands. Funny though, that just wanted to fall in reverse, but I feel like you've made the decision here. The decision has already been made and that's what, that's what I picked up on in the beginning of the reading. The decision has already been made. You're moving in the right direction. This is elevating you to a higher level. And that's all that's necessarily necessary to be understood right now. That's all you need to know right now. There's a higher reason for this. You'll get the rest of the messages later. You'll get the rest of the understanding later, okay? But right now, you need to know that you made the right decision and you're going in the right direction. All right, Cancer? Coolio, yo. So let's close out this reading then for you with a little bit of info, a little bit of guidance from the unicorns. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's close out your reading here. One last shuffle. Wait. No. Um, all right. One last shuffle. And let's see what we've got for you to close out this reading here, Cancer. Ooh, healer. Okay, and actually, okay, so now I do know this for a fact. Taurus did get this card um, in their closing message, but you are a healer. And so uh, the specific message that's coming through with this, you guys, is whatever it is you've been through was only, was helping you on your own healing journey. Your own journey towards being a healer, healing yourself even. You have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path as a healer. Don't worry about this. Whatever your, whatever higher perspective, higher wisdom, whatever is calling to you right now, is beckoning towards you, don't worry about it. Just follow through with it. There is a higher purpose. You will understand later, I promise. If you don't understand it quite right now, you will. there will come a time where you'll be able to understand. All right, Cancer. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I'm actually going to get into your love reading next, which is going to be found on Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. Link is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a great month. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Well, for their next reading for the month of June. Right. Okay. Take care. Mwah! Bye.